we were introduced to the study of the Soviet ambassador. And he began to tell me his story. We were about two dozen sitting around the big table in the Kremlin room. We, the discussion was lively. Suddenly, Stalin dropped on the floor. We all rushed to him, but he couldn't be moved. He was lying motionless, his eyes closed, obviously dead. Suddenly, Beria jumped in the middle of the hole, began to shout in a jubilant mood, Comrades, what a marvelous moment! Comrades, at least the tyrant is dead. What a marvelous day. We are free. We can breathe freely. We're not afraid to be shot next day. We still stood motionless and were staring at Beria, then at the motionless body of Stalin. Suddenly, we saw that Stalin opened one eye, then a second one, and although he didn't speak a word, he was looking again perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. Beria didn't notice this at first, but when he realized that Stalin is looking at us, he ran to the body, fell on his knees, raised his hands, and began to plead, Dear Yosef Vissarionovich, forgive me, dear Yosef Vissarionovich, you know how faithful I was to you in the past. Believe me, I will be faithful again. Forgive me. Stalin didn't say a word, and slowly he one eye closed, then the other closed, and this was the story about Stalin's stroke, as told to me by Pantaleimon Ponomarenko.